Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Got Yoga. I'm Chris Gott. And today's quick little video is the secret to getting rid of your tech neck. So really the secret <clears throat> to getting rid of your tech neck is to do yoga. Did you know I was going to say that? You knew I was going to say that. I'm actually going to show you a technique to kind of help you be more aware or when you do become aware that you're doing this on your phone or on your computer or driving. I'm going to show you what can help with that in a minute, but really I just want to talk about why yoga does help with it. So yoga creates super amounts of body awareness. If you have a consistent yoga practice, over time, you're just going to be more aware of what's going on in your body, which is actually really cool because then you can catch things early on that uh, you wouldn't have otherwise. So that's nice if you're like, oh, this is achy. Let me do a yoga pose to get that unachy. You see what I'm saying here? And with that body awareness, it makes you aware that I'm slouching. I'm slouching and I have bad posture. So it makes you more mindful. And then you're like, oh, I need to sit up. Oh, because <clears throat> when you slouch, see when you slouch, you are hunching over your shoulders, your chest is collapsing, and you're putting all that pressure on your organs, which really isn't great for them. And your body's having to hold up your head, and so that's where all that tension is coming from. If you're having any tension in your neck and shoulders, that tech neck, it's because your body's trying to hold up your head. So really, if we go ahead and inhale, sit up nice and tall, right? So the head comes over the heart, all right? You can do this standing, you can do this in a chair, wherever you want. You draw the abdomen up and back, and you have a nice broad chest, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. That's where you start, that's how you start, okay? You bring that awareness. Now your body has, isn't struggling so much to hold your head up. Your head's holding itself up on its own. That's gonna create less tension, less tech neck. But the, sec the secret so the kind of the exercise that you need to work on once you are aware that, oh, I'm slouching too much or, oh, I've been doing this all day, I need to work on that, is take your finger and your thumb, bring it right underneath your chin. You'll notice when you're like this, it's a little bit tighter, but when you draw up and back, Getting a little double chin here, but that's okay. We're working on this technique. We're working on the healthy neck. Kind of draw up and back. So almost like you're headbutting the ceiling. You'll notice it still remains soft right here. It's kind of what you want. So from here, you draw up and back. That's why people say lengthen through the crown of your head or headbutt the ceiling. And you can even go technic up and back. Technic up and back. And that's a good exercise to do. But that's what you need to start doing once you're aware I'm doing too much of this. You need to draw up and back. So at the base of your skull here, that's kind of where you draw back and then you draw up through the crown of the head. And then you've gotten rid of that tick neck. All right, what do you think? So if you're having some tension in your neck and shoulders, you can watch my video. I'll leave a link below to three poses to get rid of your tech neck. Or I have a full sequence that really opens up, releases the tension in the shoulders, the neck, and the upper back. I'll leave a link below for that as well. I hope you have a super day. I'll talk to y'all later. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, like my channel so I can keep creating these videos for you. Comment below if you get what I'm talking about. If you don't get what I'm talking about, let me know so we can figure it out together. Okay. <laughs>